Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment. Um, even though I haven't answered my comments for a little bit, but I find that life has been so busy here the last three or four months. Um, my father-in-law passed away and we were spending a lot of time visiting back and forth. We live a hundred miles from um, Regina so we were going back and forth quite often and and um, and my mother-in-law isn't doing that well right now either um, her body's slowly shutting down on her so it's just been a lot of stress a lot of love though too but um, and just so much I just find I just the, the better I feel the more I do the less time I have to do the things I want to do which is bead but this last month's bead box from Dee Dee's Deluxe bead box has been sitting on my desk almost finished for a while so I thought I would finish it with you as you can see I've got some band-aids I've got some war wounds of trying to get ready for my retreat a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago and I had to cut some of my nails really low down and so I wore band-aids on those nails for a while this nail is lifting on me a bit and this one's torn right down there I don't I don't have an appointment till the 15th and it's the 6th so 10 more days nine more days I think I can live with it until then and I may wait so much for my woes <laughs> I just wanted to share some information with you because if you've ever thought of maybe um, getting a beadbox subscription from Dee Dee's. This is not a subscription that carries on month to month. You have to go into her website and order it each month. She releases it on the 15th. I find in the afternoon sometime, I try to post my videos if I get the jewelry done beforehand. I like to post my videos around four o'clock so she's had a time to unveil it um, before I get on board. But anyway, right now until this month's and next month, so November's and December's, which go on sale November 15th and December 15th, will still be $29.99 Canadian dollars plus shipping. So if you're in the States, our, I think our dollar's around 72, 73 cents per US dollar. So it's quite a bargain for you. And she ships only to the Canada and the US. But as like everyone in these economic times, as of January 2023, the beadbox subscription will go up to $39 a month. Now, I love what she puts in her boxes. Um, I love working with them. I don't mind paying that, and I will continue to pay that. And as of now, minimum shipping is $6.95 in Canada and $12.95 to the U.S. But that could change as Canada Post does not make it, it's not friendly to small businesses with shipping. And it costs a lot of money to ship uh, things for small businesses. So I think that's a really good rate, $6.95 actually. I know through my Etsy shop what it costs to ship, but you can still get it for $29.99 um, for the next two months. So if you're on the edge deciding whether you feel like it's worth it or you want to try it, I would recommend you try in the next two months. And then you'll see that the beads she sends, they're so beautifully curated and um, just so much fun to work with and I she's pushed me out of my comfort zone a few times and but I have to tell you I think this is my all-time favorite um, I th probably say that every month though so anyway I was making myself a necklace and it's a three strand necklace and I absolutely love it so what I've done I haven't finished it because I goofed up like I do a lot of times I've made units I've made units with the uh, I can't remember what beads these are and I can't remember where my sheet is but they're very organic bead like a lava and then that yellow and then I've done a unit of this chips which I'm not a big chip fan but I really did like these and then these um, acrylic beads and then I've swapped it up and I've done two or oh, actually I did there too two units of the the chip beads and in between them is the brown, yellow, brown, same with here. Chips, yeah, brown, yellow, brown, chips, acrylic. And I've done that all through the first strand. 
And then the second strand, get this to lay nice. Sometimes with these it takes a little fiddling um, to get everything to lay right when, I, when you've had it curled into a ball on your desk. So on this one I did stone chips, that unit with the brown, yellow, brown stone chips, brown, yellow, brown stone chips. I've put, and this does lay correct because I, I, I've had it laying right. Then I've done that little sunflower charm or connector and then the brown yellow brown stone chips brown yellow yellow brown connector and then the same on the other side and I've used these rhombus which mean I think means diamond shape I think Stella messaged me that and then I wanted I wanted it to be three strand but I I, I didn't have enough of these stone chips and I didn't have enough of these or the brown chips the brown beads here so I went into um, I think it was June's bargain bead box and I grabbed what was left of my carnelian and I threw that in and that's not such a far shake throwing that in because it's very similar to that color so basically what I was doing was I was bringing this color into the third strand I was careful um, I wanted this to be the center, this unit here to be the center of the first strand, but I didn't want it to be the center of the second. So I was careful to put um, the chips there and the third. And then I added leather. And I love the leather. And and I had to go, we I had to go to Regina for a doctor's appointment. But then when I came home I looked and look what I did. I attached one really long and one really short and something I was going to do before I started this video but I forgot yep there's plenty of room so what I'm going to do I, I did a barrel knot here and I, I've glued it with GS hypo so I'm going to I'm just looking to see if I could just use that other Okay, so I'm going to snip this off, but I'm gonna leave a little bit showing. I learned my lesson from another necklace I made where I didn't leave any and it came apart. Then I'll do the same on this side. And I, I used GS Hypo Cement and I glued it many days ago before I left for the city. But now, if I want this to hang right, I can't have one lid <laughs> longer than the other. Well, probably could, but so I'm going to snip this right about here. And hopefully I can maybe reuse this. I'm not sure. Then I've got these ends. I don't have a lot of different sized ends. Oh, my fingers. It's hard working without your thumbs. So I've got these here, and I've got this little tray ugh, that I put my, um, what is this, E6000 in. I am terrible with these tubes. Like, if my mom was here, she'd be just shaking her head at me. There we go, I just had to break where the glue was there. And that's way more than I need. And I just used, I just used this little brush, even though it's hard as rock now. And I just coated the end with glue. way up. See, not quite all the way. I need a plier. I should have grabbed my plier first. Why do I use this one? And these are big for this, but if you do it this way, if you press down one end, oopsie, here we go. 
you press down one side like that and then you press down this side and press hard a little bit of glue got out that'll hold I'll put this off to the side and then I just need I've got a couple of little jump rings here And I'll leave this dry. I won't try to do anything with this until the few hours. Let the glue sit for a few hours. It is storming outside. Oh, snow and blowing snow. And I'm so glad we came home yesterday from Regina. I probably would have ended up there for a few days. And I think I'm going to be home. I don't think I have any appointments for a while now. Unless something comes up. But I think I can start getting back into a routine again. My retreat is done and it was a success. My quilting retreat. Yeah. So that was good. Try to get these as close together as I can. There we go. So see what I mean? It's all tangled up here. So what I'll do, I, I, this is, I absolutely love this necklace. I absolutely, I think it's one of my all time favorites. I just love these colors. And what did I do here? Yeah, once you twist it around, turn it around, you'll have to get it back the way it needs to be. So, I made a couple pairs of earrings. I made a pair of earrings, sorry. It's so hard lifting things up with my thumb. I was going to do these with you, but oh my goodness, I had such a hard time <laughs> just even getting the things on. So I used the faux leather, and I just used one of each of the segments. I used the, the segment that I used here. I used the acrylic, but because the hole is so big in the acrylics, I used a, excuse me, one of the, the brown beads. And then I took whatever was left of the, of the chips. I split them in half and I just strung them down there and they look the same here but they they flip both ways they flip both ways there we go so that you can wear them both ways and I love them I was gonna cut out some leather and add another layer of leather here but I thought you know what this is Dee Dee's box I don't want to be showing a new thing with her box I want to do it with what she made available for me. I shouldn't say Dee Dee's, it's Stella's box, but it's Dee Dee's beads. And the rest of the beads went into my stash. I was gonna make a stretch bracelet with them, but I thought, are you making the bracelet because you want it and need it? Or are you making it simply to use up the beads? And the answer was simply to use up the beads. So I put the beads in my stash so that I can make a creation that I'm really proud of with them with the rest instead of just using them to say hey I used them all anyway I'll, I'll take a picture of this after and hang it isn't it gorgeous I just I love it I love these colors and I was so upset that I didn't have it finished before I went to Regina because I kind of have this v-neck t-shirt style shirt I don't wear a lot of t-shirts but this v-neck one and this would have gone so well with it just casual with jeans oh anyway I'm gonna go on to the next, and I think my next is, it's sitting out here on my desk. I think this is my next project that I'm gonna work on. And this is the bargain bead box. What is it? A night in the woods. So we'll see what happens with that. And I'd like to start doing some on camera again, but it's just been, life's just been so busy. I've only been able to bead in little snippets of time. 
so I haven't done that, but I'll get back to it. Anyway, I wish you lots of luck, love, and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.